Over here, see bad guys and the chicks over here. See plenty of money and the drinks over here. Hello, how are you? She knew what's up, where you from? Chris Brown. Never fish away, cook as a mummy can down. Never to rub out, don't pull on a cabal. Cabal, shake, shake, cabal. Give on me swag, and what's that about? We kill every show, we run in the town. The king on the throne, I'm holding the town. Hello, 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 Juco, we holding the town. We come be like, say, make them open the ground, make them bear to you. You can't open your mouth. I see a daddy, you're doing it, don't know. Thank <laughs> you. 
And my MD was like, Shedu, you have left. And I'm sure he will say, what is that thing that you do? <laughs> you will say reference, and I will finish <laughs> Unfortunately for the man, when Boyega sent the reference, the story changed. The man called me, and he said, who is your HR manager? Uh, I said, I'm going to help you now. He said, I really need to meet that man. If you can help me to do one or two things, uh, my company. I said, okay, maybe I'll tell him about it. But when he read the letter, and he sent it back to Vedansi, he called me after again, and he said, okay, well, you know what? I'm forgiving you, and I'm asking you not to pay the 300,000. <laughs> I'm going to miss you, I'm going to miss you. I was the first person I met when I came for my interview. And uh, I came in at an interview. And the question was, I said, how much do you want to earn? So I was like, people are giving me training. He said, how much do you want to earn? Tell them how much you want. So I told him I would earn 90,000 or 80,000. He said, no problem. So I said, wait, I met TJ. I said, wait, did I give him my letter? So I was thinking it was the 90,000. The next thing I got for 25,000. Well, I'm not regular in this picture. I just 
Appreciation of years of dedicated and selfless service uh, to Mr. Soon to be Reverend Kelly Wagwe and what to say, Meritorious Service Award. Um, I think, as, as the round of everything that was said, uh, it's not just that it's a crossover person, I think the instructive thing is that one, there's a spirit of teachability, there's a spirit of flexibility, there's a spirit of dedication. Uh, for someone, if I can see your child, for someone who had never been a nature person before, and I think the, the experimentation that I think Ola was also referring to, you see that you can start somewhere, but only God and yourself and your own ability to put yourself at your own steps and determine where you end up. Uh, when we are going to start, I was talking to, finally I was sharing with some of my former clients, and one of them said to me, I wish you good luck. Then she said, no, I'm taking it back uh, because I think you'll only succeed. And I said, why? Well, but she didn't say anything. I think I'll say the same thing to you. Wherever you go, I'm taking it for granted that you'll only succeed. Um, it is not, I don't need to pray it. I don't need to wish it. I think it's something that must be there. Then. And for those who are feeling sad to see where that goes, I see it differently. I think it's like we're sending somebody also to the wilderness to go and make disciples of other people, people and other places. And whether we like it or not, what also means that our brand is growing bigger and wider in the sphere of influence. So, on behalf of very much, we wish we that well. Um, I only think that when the next person is leaving, I think we'll always come after. Uh, the key question is, will we be able to say things like this about you? I say it all the time. Even now, we're working on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what to say. I think I want to thank God first. I want to thank God for the the owner of life, the sustainer of life. Whether we like it or not, there will always be a time like this, like, like Larry said. It's scriptural, it's natural that things like this will happen. But really, really, I didn't know that I would be living this way or this year, so to say. I had it in mind when I came to Berlanzi that I would spend like five years and I would move to somewhere else. But I I got so much emotionally attached to Berlanzi. Even my my to be employer at some point said, We need you to resume what's the problem, you don't want to come again. I said, I don't think I want to come again. He said, can you do us a formal mail, a formal letter that you don't want to come again? So I did it. I sent it to them. I started discussing with teacher then. I sent it to them. Then they started calling me back and started talking with it. We invited me again for chat and all of that. And, all of that. and I had to pray over it. You know, and... Uh, I felt I, I have to go. Someone gave me a chance to be here, and that's to do it. Give me a chance to be here. Really, I've worked somewhere, I worked with a very bad boss, a rich child person. And when I came to the hands, it was different. And I learned from every one of you. Everyone gave me an opportunity to bring up myself and talk. 
ourselves about being, you know, being a uh, giant, because you know, sometimes you can really have an illusion in your mind. Let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, well, they say change the individual. I think we can, we change that to a very small. We can go back, <laughs> and in our own little ways, start from our own organization, and start implementing talks, things that you know, we need help. Mm-hmm. Being, being attentive, being focused, being having a maintenance culture. Because that's what I saw there. You know, preserve what you have. How oh, you guys enjoy the trip? Very good. Very good. Very interesting and sad. So sad, I don't feel like going back to Nigeria. I did enjoy the trip. Yeah, a wonderful time. Um, well. There's a lot to there's a lot to have learned here. I personally learned some things here and the experience was good. But it was really cool. That's that's just it was really really cool. How did you enjoy the trip? Well, uh, I had a lot of new experiences. Okay, I had a lot of fun, new experiences, new people, new places, new friends, different delights. That's fun all around. The weather was awesome. But the variation was kind of surprising. Well, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I think this was uh, by far the best. Three and so far. Like <laughs> Ecstatic. <laughs> and a bit tiring. It was wonderful. It's a bit of a reach. You are mixed. We are expecting <laughs> to see all the things you saw. Well, going by what, <laughs> what the level of development has been, um, I was expecting to see this. Um, there seems to be a lot more that has been going on in terms of organization, in terms of, in terms of the quality of thoughts that has gone into every bit of of activity, organization here yeah, is perfect, it's wonderful. Um, I was expecting to see this, and even the people are a little bit more above, the, I mean, really above board with their customer uh, relations. It's amazing. It's interesting. It's very, very interesting. This is a very beautiful country, and a country that supersedes so many countries in Africa, even in the country in Nigeria. I find it country so 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 interesting. Like, uh, but I really hear the difference between uh, weird things work and weird things work uh, and it's still in the same way. Uh, my summary is that the black screen is cut. That's my summary. My summary also is that uh, we really can't catch up with the rest of the world. We really wish we could. 
Um, the experience was alright and wonderful. Um, I thank Belanzio for giving us the opportunity to come to a, a better African country than what we've been well. Johnson, the way this is not new one, but the situation is with Nash. So, Nigeria is not better. Nigeria is not better, but they are always the one they are trying. They are trying to be trying. I'm trying to be trying. I'm trying to be trying. I'm trying to be trying. Oh, Sherry. Oh, Sherry. I had fun. Why is that? It's really cold. Nobody was prepared for that. So with me, that's what 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 I almost froze in um, where, where we were in Cape Town. It was quite cold, but thank God I had a jacket and a scarf. But I had fun. Um, Table Mountain was fun. The food was horrible. But it got better, shall I like it? Second day, it was fine. But then I think everybody that came along made it all worthwhile. We had fun together, laughed together. So I had fun. Oh, my dad did not talk about it. Well, how was your experience, bro? Well, well, my first time outside the coast of West. It looked like the flight in the end. The first time ever I'll see an Embraer over, taking over 400 passengers at the time. It looked like the plane was going to, let me just say, going to crash. But at the end of the day, we got here safely because I've never done night trip. But truly, if you start from the experience from the airport down, shows that gives you, you, you need to envisage what you are going to see all around the city. Like in Joburg, or let me just say in South Africa. Because Cape Town, well, I didn't, I didn't even want to believe what I saw because I know that the whites, they always have the edge over us. So let me say, they use the advantage of being white while taking over the Cape of town for years to develop that place. But the truth is, as a prospective or aspiring politician, I see, I see positive things to take home from here, which I hope, uh, as an individual, I can That's start. What has been experienced so far? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's a very fantastic experience. You know, we look at this um, far, far. Uh, how did she say color? Uh, uh, color a yeah. departure yeah. from what, what we've been used to in the last um, couple of years. It's, um, it's, it's, it's very worth it. It's very worth it. I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this. More, more grease to the elbow. Right? Yeah. And, uh, we got continue to prosper the company.